Here we're going to be talking about granulation tissue. So as you guys have learned from class, granulation tissue is a collection of fibroblast inflammatory cells and small blood vessels uh, that appear when a wound is healing. Now sometimes patients have granulation tissue and a clinician may see it and think that it's something else. Often granulation tissue is described as beefy red, meaning that it kind of looks like uncooked ground beef. Uh, and so sometimes when you see this on a patient, whether it's on their skin or inside their body if you're doing endoscopy, it can look like malignancy. So in this case this was a skin biopsy. As you can see here we have normal epidermis and dermis and this patient was biopsied because there was adjacent ulceration and granulation tissue formation that looked scary to the clinician. And so here you can see small blood vessels, uh, capillaries, growing into a loose fibroblastic response which is trying to repair this damage and there's a lot of scattered inflammatory cells within this. This is a great ex example of a case where we can actually go down and identify a lot of these inflammatory cells so I'll spend a minute kind of showing you what they look like under a microscope. So one of the most common cells that we see are going to be neutrophils and you can tell a neutrophil because it has kind of pink cytoplasm and irregular lobated nuclei. Uh, in addition we have some eosinophils present here and so you can see an eosinophil in this area because it is a bright pink cell with what they call sunglasses type nuclei where the nuclei kind of look like sunglasses. They'd have to be the big aviator ones. Uh, and then finally you also see scattered plasma cells and plasma cells are going to be cells that look like this in which there is a large nucleus with eccentric cytoplasm and occasionally you can see what they call a perinuclear HOF which is where all the antibodies that are being manufactured are stored. So this is a nice example of granulation tissue in a skin biopsy with a good mixed inflammatory response.